OMG. Meg shocked as Thomas contacts Tom Bauer to reveal all her most shameful secrets from childhood. Thomas Markle used Tom Bauer's latest book about Meghan Markle to re-establish his side of the narrative, a royal expert claimed. Tom Bauer, author of Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, previously claimed that his tell-all book would include extraordinary information about Meghan Markle's rise to royalty. The biographer spoke to various people who know the 40-year-old to piece together information for the book. Meghan's father Thomas Markle spoke to Mr. Bauer about his estranged relationship with his daughter and it has been suggested that the 78-year-old used the book as a platform against her and to re-establish his narrative. Speaking on the latest episode of Royal Beat, royal commentator Roy Nickhar discussed the strained relationship between Meghan and her father. Ms. Nickhar said, I think Thomas has used the book as a, sort of, platform to try and re-establish his side of the narrative. The royal commentator claimed that Mr. Bauer spoke at great length to Thomas Markle. She added, you get much more of an understanding from Thomas Markle's point of view of Meghan's upbringing, and, the time she spent with her father. Ms. Nickhar continued, the relationship that is now portrayed as very close, is the one between Meghan and her mother. But, actually for great periods of her childhood and her teenage years, she was living with her father. She added that this was because Doria, Meghan's mother, wasn't around so much. Journalist, and author of Finding Freedom, Omid Scobie previously claimed that the relationship between Meghan and her father had really come to an end. Thomas, who is a retired Hollywood lighting director, had planned to visit the UK last month for the Platinum Jubilee celebrations and had hoped to reunite with his daughter and meet his two young grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet, for the first time. However, it was later reported that the 78-year-old had suffered a suspected stroke, which had led to him having to abort his plans. Following his stay in hospital, Thomas said, via mail online, I feel hugely grateful and know how lucky I am to be alive. I want to thank everyone, especially the wonderful doctors and nurses who saved my life. They are angels. Following the announcement of Thomas' ill health, Dan Wooden spoke to GB News about whether, despite their feud, Meghan would visit her father following his brush with death. Mr. Wooden said, I pray for his recovery, and even more, I pray this brush with death will give Meghan the opportunity to reconsider her decision to freeze out the dad, she used to publicly praise, as her beloved daddy on social media websites. The Duchess of Sussex is believed to have last seen her father in person before her marriage to Prince Harry in 2018. Thomas Markle was originally scheduled to walk Meghan down the aisle but bowed out in favor of Prince Charles after allegations emerged of him striking a photo deal with paparazzi. In other news, Meghan Markle snubbed business tycoon Donald Trump's private invitation back in her acting days. Author Tom Bauer reveals how Meghan was serious about her work at Deal or No Deal and invested her time solely in reading scripts. She rejected the invitation of Trump to visit his golf courses, the author wrote. As ever in Hollywood, sexy young women attracted rich and powerful men. Among the visitors welcomed to the studio was Donald Trump. On the set between takes, the New York businessman handed out his card and invitations to visit his golf courses. Some girls accepted and would later say that Meghan not only rejected Trump but all the other invitations. The biographer added, Layla Milani, one of the other girls, would assert that Meghan never went out after the shows, but read scripts for auditions.